We just killed ourselves a brood mother. Powerful thing that produces a crap load of dark spawn. That was actually something worth killing down here. So what do you know? We're not just screwing around out here. Ah, oh, I went the wrong way. This is just an area for dark spawn to spawn at and run into attack you while you're fighting the brood mother. Was this brood mother Bronca? I seem to be a little confused. Or maybe I'm just supposed to leave. <laughs> Another way down here, kill a brood mother, leave. Because, you know, that's what badasses do. Just sort of do things and leave. Anvil of the Void! Check this out. Is anywhere. This has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Perhaps that's her there. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf, Bronca! By the stone! I barely recognized you! Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Endrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. He is dead, yes. And the assembly is deadlocked. Then what is your involvement in this? Why would a surfacer be interested in dwarven politics? You must have a patron. A highly placed patron. And they must want something in particular. Now. What might that be? I don't care if the Assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. But of course, there's a catch. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. Does that include Hespeth and the others in your house? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. Well, I take it she wasn't always such a ruthless... something. She wants us to get the Anvil of the Void. Now, the Anvil of the Void is the tool in which the dwarves long ago created golems. Powerful creatures of stone which can beat the shit out of lots of darkspawn. But the Anvil was lost quite a long time ago along with the majority of the Dwarven Empire. So there's not They were all mine. Pledged to be my house. And they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me. Even my best
Wow. She, she swore she'd do whatever it took to find my fresh dark spawn to test the trap. It shall be done. They could still serve me. Let me find the anvil. This is the only way. This one's rambling on and on and on. Yeah! <sighs> okay, Bronca has lost her mind. Her pursuit of the Anvil of the Void has driven her to kill off all of her followers. Look, there are a lot of dwarves, dwarven dead bodies right here, and they weren't killed by the Darkspawn. Or I imagine some of them weren't, at least. As you say. She allowed one of her members to become a broodmother. With the IB idea being, what the kids keep coming from? Get back here. The idea being that, as a brood mother, she would produce a lot of dark spawn, which would be th thrown into the traps. Kind of a twisted idea. Game crashed again. Moving on. As you say. A lot of dwarves and for some reason a bunch of dead, uh, a bunch of dead golems out here too. Where the hell did they come from? Oh, golem. Oh, maybe that's why they were alive until the dwarves and the dark spawn attacked them and killed them. That makes sense, I guess. I hope they don't try to kill me. That could suck. Oh, the room's poisoned. Ah, gonna have to go through anyway. Up oh, here we go. Back. Fucker hits hard. For enemies like this, heavily armored enemies, it's best to use blunt weapons like Ogrins. Um, what? Well, it's a hammer, but they call it a maul. Very, uh, very good armor penetration. The sword that Bruce is using, my warden is using, as well as the dagger that Liliana is using, are not as effective against armored enemies. But I'm not about to change that just for this fight. That's tough. That was ah, not pleasant. I bet it wasn't. It's got some nice stuff in here, but I can't take everything I find with me. Let me throw, damn it. Does that stop it? There we go. I should have done that to begin with. Do I have to fight you too? You're just gonna stand there and watch. Okay, I guess you'll stand there and watch. Very well. How did these dwarves get past? The, uh, never mind. Up oh, here we go again. Right ahead. Can you do something about that trap? As you like. Hmm. 
Nice. When using shield wall, shield defense, like my warden is using, it's not so easy to knock you down. A lot of golems, maybe I should change out the weapons. I'll do it after the next fight, this fight. I guess I don't really have any... Uh, armor penetration isn't very good for that. A little better for that. Uh, I'm not actually carrying any weapons. That would be good for this. Shall we die? I was hoping somebody around here would have had that, but nope. Asking for too much. Uh, maybe that dwarf has a weapon. I hope so. No, I already checked him, didn't I? I don't want leather armor. Screw that. Moving on. All is well. You dumbass. Oh well. <laughs> Knock him down. <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm in bad shape. Oh, yeah, we're not... Okay, yeah, these guys... Ogren went down a little quicker than I was thinking he would. I have to break out the injury kits. Shall we die? Oh yeah, Ogren has four friggin' injuries. No wonder he went down so easily. One regular injury kit should take care of all of them, I think. Oh, up to three, never mind. Liliana has two. I'm only gonna cure one of them. Hopefully that's good enough. Some of these... Some of these must be dead. Recover me stamina! Is that it? Looks just look like a lot of lyrium or something. Should have known this wasn't going to be good. Stun that spirit! You guys going to attack or what? Just standing there doing nothing. Spirit Anvil. Maybe I should hit that. I don't know what that does. Looks cool, though. Oh! Bloody the... Uh, bloody the ties up. 
Ooh, yellows. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Lyrium Van. How the hell did that happen? Don't bother participating in the fighting or anything. Okay, there we go. One more, it looks like. Oh, no, here it is. Why are they not helping? Spirit Anvil's on this side, but that's not going to help me any. Maybe I gotta rotate it by killing it or something. There we go. Oh, what now? Come on, now. But I did it. This one's not bleeding. Okay, Ogryn, don't bother helping. Just stand there and get killed. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> what do I have to do to kill this thing? Okay, I figured it out. I just had to hit the things until they were bloody, then hit the things that weren't, that were bloody, and that ended up taking it out. Most of my characters were defeated, though, so I barely, I guess you could say I barely survived that one. But, uh, moving on. Better save that, auto-save that game, because that bitch was going to, uh, crash on me any time now. Hello. Keridan, as in the Keridan of Keridan's Cross? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier, as an army, 
They were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. A dire shortcut. Was it worth it? So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied. And soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused, and so Valtor had me put on the anvil next. So you sealed it away. Orzammar could use it. No! I entombed myself here to find a way to destroy the anvil. It must not be used again! No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! You are a paragon. I'd help you support a new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! The anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not while I still live! Bronca, don't throw your life away for this! She's not the Bronca you know. Now stand aside. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. She's obsessed. Beyond redemption. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! Oh, damn. My friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. Ah, oh, shit. It's getting out of hand. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, running away. What the fuck? Okay, that's not a real person. There she is. Get back here. Dead. A lot of dead golems, too. Sweet. She's got a lot of good stuff. Took her head clean off, though. Um, Horgrim, um, Horgrim didn't really react too well to us killing her, but uh, could it be done? So, tell me. How did you become a Grey Warden? Damn it! I clicked on you by accident. I do not want to have this conversation with you. Ah, you are 
keeping this tale to yourself, I see. Fair enough. Forgive me for prying. Just let me get out of this. <laughs> yeah, alright. Hey, look, a bag. Damn it. Okay. Now, the only reason... Now, I actually think it probably would have been better for the overall war effort if the the Anvil of the Void were allowed to return to the to the dwarves because they could produce more golems and they are very good at fighting Darkspawn. But, the reality is, no matter what I do with it, the Anvil is going to end up not playing any real factor in this game. And in Dragon Age 2, regardless of what you do with this, they're still going to be producing golems. So it's kind of pointless. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding, stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Agrin, you lost Braca to this. Do you want anything? Yeah. I yeah, don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you. I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow I didn't think so. Well, then I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Maybe I shouldn't destroy it, you know, after I gotten what I want from this guy. I could, you know, ah, fuck it, let's get rid of it. I'll destroy the anvil, as agreed. <laughs> 